and your right to the co-host Cody Johnson. We are Drew Code Sports Talk. We're going to be talking about on this video about the uh, latest news that we heard earlier this week. Tim Tebow was sent to low class A Columbia Fireflies. Um, and kind of the question that really came to mind, and actually I want to give credit to my wife, she thought it was a question. Uh, do you root for him to make it into the MLB or, you know, well, which would be in the next two to three years, he would mm -hmm. make it, or should he give up? Um, well, okay, so first off, I've, I've actually met Tim Tebow in person, really nice guy, and he is in freakishly good shape. It's no lie. I, and I got a chance to talk to him, he's a really nice guy, it was probably about last year, or last summer sometime, but um, when I first heard about him joining baseball at first, I kind of went because I kind of thought, you know, maybe you should change up your position in football and maybe you will actually get some teams calling because he's a really good football player and I agree with some analysts that believe that he should be in the NFL because he does make the game more fun because he, in my opinion, he's Mr. Fourth Quarter in the NFL. I mean, when he was with the Broncos, he won a majority of his games in the fourth quarter where it counted the most. I mean, granted, he doesn't throw the prettiest ball. But, I mean, a win's a win's a win, you know, I mean, there's uh, ugly wins, and if he masters ugly wins, at least he's winning, you know, but anyways, uh, when I heard he was doing baseball, I was kind of worried because he hadn't played baseball since high school, didn't even have any college offers, and so it was just more so of like, you know, I want to try the next best thing, and at first it's kind of like disrespectful to people that have been playing it for 20 plus years and have been grinding out and in college and in the, uh, in the lower, like double A's and single A's and triple A's kind of thing, because now you have this guy that just wants to start off in it. But he's actually, I don't want to say he's really good, but he's hes not as bad as I thought he would be. I honestly thought that he would just be striking out left and right, but he's got a couple of defensive catches. He's got a pretty decent batting average for someone that's in, uh, you know, spring training right now with the Mets, who um, has got a pretty good team. He, he went up against a Cy Young pitcher last week. He struck out, of course. But, uh, you know, he did redeem himself, and according to these stats here, he did uh, get a couple of base hits. So, you know, I, I, I actually am rooting for him to make it. I think his shot is still really long. Uh, I'm rooting for him, but I, I don't know if he'll get it to the majors, and if he does, I don't think he'll last long in the majors just because the road to get in the majors will be so treacherous. I actually see him maybe in all the uh, minor league affiliates, you know, single, double, triple. I've probably seen him there for closer to four years, more than three years, mm -hmm. just because he's got a lot of work to do with his mechanics and batting and, and his throwing a little bit. Because his base running is a little odd because he has such a wide, you know, run in a sense and he can be a little sporadic. But um, in my opinion, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm rooting for him, but I think it'll be more closer to four years when he makes it. And, he probably won't be in the, the uh, baseball majors for more than maybe three or four years at top. So, you know, good for him for trying. I mean, never too late to start something new, I guess. Well, I mean, like you, like you alluded to, he's he's in great shape. And he really is. Um, and he's very in tune with his body, which a lot of a lot of great athletes are. Uh, Tom Brady, for example, he won't he hasn't had a beer in his life. Um, hasn't had doesn't eat uh, a ton of red meat. He only eats white meat. Um, he won't. Uh, he won't eat anything bad. He won't eat desserts, sweets, stuff like that. So people who are in tune with their body, LeBron James is another guy yeah. who, who's very good about doing that. Um, guys like that, you know, are are always successful because they put in the time, not just in the gym, but also off the right. off the court, off the Absolutely. out of the gym, yeah. and at home. When no one's watching, they're still disciplined to what they do. Right. Um, so Tim Tebow is one of those guys. This is going to be his first full season with a club, so we will understand who he's going to be as a ball player right. this season. Um, because he was uh, just previously he was in the fall league, which is like the fall rookie league is what they basically call it. Um, so. He kind of, we kind of saw what he could do there. He did okay. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't fantastic, but he did the work to be invited to spring training by the New York Mets. Right. Now, I think that was more of they want to see who they who they signed. Okay. We have this Tim Tebow guy who's got a media frenzy. We got to figure out what we have. Well, not only that, but they could probably be using that media frenzy to their advantage to get more, uh, you know, more. Uh, more marketing and more attraction to them, mm -hmm. you know, and that could also be just a ploy there. I mean, 
you know, Tim Tebow is a great guy, but you know, this could easily be another New York strategy market of just, you know, using him to gain, uh, to gain, you know, more, uh, more media attention for all yeah. we know. Yeah, and, and you're, you're absolutely right. It could absolutely be that. I, I believe in Tim Tebow, and, and the reason why is he, he trained with Gary Sheffield, and I don't know if you know that name. Yeah. Uh, but Gary Sheffield was one of the better uh, hitters in the game, mm -hmm. uh, more power hitters. Yeah. Um, Tim Tebow is built like a power hitter, so that it makes sense for him. Mm -hmm. And Sheffield had a very successful career. He played yeah. into his 40s. So uh, Sheffield is, is, a, is, a, is a great teacher, mm -hmm. and Tim Tebow, the way he swings, he, he looks like uh, he's still got a lot of work to do on his swing, but he's getting there. Um, in spring training, uh, this was uh, Monday, before he even played in the spring training game, uh, before he was sent to the low uh, class A, uh, he was hitting, uh, he had four hits and 20 at bats. So he's hitting 200. Not great, especially in the spring training game, or spring training season, mm -hmm. that's horrible. Um, that's almost double A numbers, and as we see, low class A numbers yeah. for sure. So he, that's why he sent down. He did have two diving catches, which were uh, actually really great catches. Mm -hmm. I wasn't worried about his defense coming in. Mm -hmm. um, I read. I, I have actually both of his books that he's come out with, um, and he talks a little bit about baseball. And you can kind of see that he understands the game. He's very talented. Mm -hmm. And actually, if he would have stuck with baseball, he could have been in the majors already. Yeah. But because he went to football, and I understand his reasonings for it, um, you know, he lost the baseball thing. And he actually, he was kind of recruited uh, to baseball mm -hmm. but in high school. But he ended up um, wanting to stick with football, needing to focus on football his senior year. And so that's why he never got it after that. So, just just so you know on that. Um, but in his first spring training game, he went 0 for 3. Okay, which yeah. is not very good. He was batting 8, so that's even worse. Yeah. He had two strikeouts, and both of them were low, which means he's not really familiar with the um, the strike zone or uh, well the strike zone or where the walks would be. Um, and then he also ran into a double play that did end up having a run scored after he did that, um, but running into a double play is still never good. No. Um, so he had an opportunity to kind of impress and continue his spring training, um, but because, uh, honestly, I think it was the first game that he had, mm -hmm. uh, it really hurt him, and, and they didn't, I mean, they put him in the starting lineup, I think, a couple more times, but he really didn't do anything special to, to have him go in. It's unfortunate. I mean, he obviously needs more work. Yeah. Uh, my thing is, he needs more of a consistent bat. He's got he's got speed, so the base pass to me aren't as aren't as key. Uh, his defense, uh, like I said, he's got speed, and we saw the diving catches, so he he knows how to run his angles, which is perfect. Um, which you could be running those angles for tight end. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, having said all that, I I am rooting for the guy. He's got a ton of work, no no question. I feel like he didn't get a fair chance in the NFL. Yeah, I really right. do. Um, and he's, I think now, like they're basically making up for it here in the MLB, where he's getting a, a, an opportunity because no other player who just came from the rookie uh, fall season mm -hmm. would probably be invited to the first spring unless you amaze people, which Tim Tebow didn't. I'm not saying it was terrible. He hit like 286, I think, which is, I mean, it's good. But um, no other guy would have gotten that treatment. Mm -hmm. They're trying to run him through to get into that organization. And it's probably the New York New York type. But, you know, good for him that he's at least getting this opportunity. Yeah. You know, Bill Belichick didn't, you know, go, oh, uh, yeah, go ahead and play. Tom, you're going to sit, you know, yeah. just for me. I mean, who knows? I mean, Tebow... If maybe Tebow changed, uh, changed uh, positions in football, he might have been more successful. We don't know. But, you know, it's just great that he's getting a continuous opportunity regardless if he's good or not. Because, uh, honestly, he's a freakish athlete. He probably will adapt well in, a, in the upcoming years. It'll just be a little time. And we'll see. I mean, he could surprise us all, which he's always done. I mean, no one thought he would be, um, you know, a winning quarterback in the NFL. And he actually, ironically, does have a winning record. 
uh, as a quarterback, he just nobody wants him because he has a terrible form. But you know, Tim Tebow though is proving people wrong, and good for him for doing it. Yeah, congratulations to him for even making the low class A. I can't make it. <laughs> Unfortunate. I would love. It. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It is Drew Code Sports Talk. It'll probably be at the bottom here somewhere along. We'll get it on there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, please, we appreciate everyone and, uh, and thank you for watching.